PC. Not the best place to tow, not the worst. <laughs> we definitely towed worse. Yeah, this will pucker the sphincter at about an eight, maybe seven. Gotta love the traffic. Look at this. God. And it's three o'clock. On a Monday. On a Monday. Yes. This is. This blows. Slow and steady. That's all you can do. All right. Well, after all that traffic, we've got about 0. 0.2 miles. It says. Yep. And we will have made it. I would say it was tedious. Yeah. Looks like we're going left here, huh? Yep. Right there. There's our sign. All right, it looks like as we enter the campground here, I'm guessing we're gonna stick to the right. Follow the trailer in front of us. There's the bus that'll take you to the metro, I think. Yep, hopefully that'll do that. Use all three lanes and pull forward. I think they're used to having some traffic here. Yeah. They get three lanes to check in. Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summit, and we are at Cherry Hill Park. This is in College Park, Maryland, and is renowned for being the closest campground to Washington, D.C. And it also has a metro bus that will take you to the metro. This campground is beautiful. We'll be showing you a full review of it. One of the great things is it's family owned since 1921. So it's very much a resort style campground. Very beautiful, has lots of amenities. Yeah, we'll show you some of that. But it, this campground, both the attention to detail, the um, hosts, everything is first rate here. It is. And you pay for it, but... You pay for it, but considering what a hotel would cost in D.C., yeah. I think this is a bargain. And we're sleeping in our own bed and yep. all that other stuff. So, yep. yeah, so we're going to go ahead and check out some D.C. stuff. We're going to do some Americana lunch. Mm -hmm. and... We'll show you the metro and how that works. And we'll check out the campground. All right, let's do it to it. Okay. So what did we get when we checked in? Our parking pass, which Cindy has. Our site map, wristbands for the amenities. Our arrival checklist for all the stuff. It's pretty, uh, and a bunch I mean, of this stuff. is swanky. This is as nice a camp campground as you're gonna get. It's, and a bunch of stuff for tours and stuff of DC. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and dock her and chalk her. All right, let's dock her in. Yep, dock her and chalk her. Let's uh, just back her in. Looks pretty level, looks really nice. We'll get her in so that hopefully we can pull the truck a little bit forward uh, once she's in. Okay, we'll do that. Recon complete. We looked up. Yeah, there's nothing. Let's go ahead and take a look at our campsite here at Cherry Hill Campground in College Park, Maryland, the closest campground to Washington, D.C. So, yeah, obviously, this is absolutely beautiful. You've got this nice little wrought iron sitting area. Plus a picnic table. Picnic table's out of the way. It's on this nice red brick, but look at how nice the it's partitioned off with this wood. Yep. You've got this nice gravel. Yep. I think the site is absolutely perfectly level, no leveling blocks needed. Um, you know, I always have my standard, how's the uh, campfire look, and it's super clean. Yep, perfectly clean. And this thing's like brand new. I so want to cook on this. I've never <laughs> seen one of these brand new. I could actually do this. Look at that. Brand spanking new. Yeah, and it, it's just, you know, we've got a corner site. We'll show you some of the other sites. They've got some large pull-throughs. They've got, you know, you see everything here from a camper van to a monster, monster three-axle fifth wheel toy hauler to a class A double axle diesel pushers. Yep. I mean, they're so all here. They're all um, there's great. no seasonals really, which is in my mind kind of nice. Everybody comes and goes. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the services. So, of course, a minor rookie error. I went to hook up the sewer to dump our gray water tank this morning, and yup, we were two, three inches short. So, I needed to double up, and such is life. Water, like, you know, water was at 54 ppm total dissolved solids. Of course, you've got 50 amp and 30 amp. We're not boosting power, sewer, full hookups. You know, it's $99 a night, so it's expensive. But if you think about all the amenities you get and the convenience of it being near Washington, D.C. Right on the metro. I mean, that's, to, you know, somebody commented and was like, you know, I, I'm not sure I'd want to stay here. Well, if the op, yeah, if the option is staying here in our own bed 
making our own coffee in the morning, using our own bathroom versus a hotel, we'll choose this any day of the year. This is odd. I don't know why they have this, but you can see where I'm hooked up to power and they have another power pedestal right here. I guess some rigs have it up front, but the fact that they've considered that is pretty cool. And some of the other sites have it too. You can see our neighbors there have it. The campground is about 75% full right now, I'd say, but it's starting to fill up. So one nice service here at Cherry Hill is that the, at four o'clock every day here at the Waterfall Building, they offer a informational session on tours that they do. They hold a number of tours that you can schedule from here, as well as how to use the Metro, some of the sites in downtown DC. So all of these things are done at this uh, session at four o'clock every day. And it's free. So it looks like a very nice laundry facility. Maybe a little expensive. It's about $3.25 for a regular load and about $1.50 for a probably a 30 minute dry. So you're gonna expect to spend about $5 for one load. But I think it's very nice to have one here and it's convenient. You know, so most campgrounds will have some type of little store to sell the amenities that you might have forgotten. But here at Cherry Hill, it's basically a small camping world. Look at all the stuff they've got here. It so is. It's, it's a, a really well stocked for everything that you might need. They got toilet paper. Lots of toilet paper. All the little extras. I'm still debating getting a Magnum PIG pig, but <laughs> I don't know. There's a couple of them. Maybe I'll get one. Yeah. It's like being in a Disney World. It's important when you're on the bus to note that the stop is J Rose Cherry Hill. It won't say. Cherry Hill Campground. That got we got a little nervous. Or Cherry Hill Park. At Cherry Hill. Yeah, we were like, you know, oh no, when is when is it when we're gonna stop, stop at our campground? Up. But yes, yeah, J Rose, that's the one you want to look for. And you also need to pull the stop requested. Building 9300. Alright, we just got off the bus. It was about 26 minutes to get uh, to the College Park Metro Station. And this time can vary depending on the time of day, traffic, sure. and the number of stops that they take because this is actually a city bus that's providing transportation to the metro. All right, you can see here there's a delay. We went from like three minutes to, was it nine minutes? There was an announcement saying that somebody had jumped onto the tracks. Please, here's a pro tip. Don't jump onto the tracks if you're on the metro. Best case scenario, you delay the train. Worst case, you get smushed. All right, we're on the green line. We're heading out to our lunch stop for today. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you've heard, seen our channel before, you we, we're not doing the national parks. If you want an RV channel that's going to hike the national parks, there's lots of them out there. Yeah, they are. So our focus this trip is going to be on Americana, including Americana Eats. And yep. we think we found a good Americana Eats yep. here in D.C. to hit up. Yep. So, so that's going to be our next stop. That's going to be our next stop. Let's go ahead and check it out. See, so where we found ourselves for lunch today? We are at Ben's Chili Bowl and looking at some research. We were looking for a nice local place, and this place stood out as a great place to get chili and a hot dog. Yeah, so we, we did some specific hot dog and pizza research, and this was a standout. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out, see what it's all about, have some lunch. And it's been around since 1958. All right, we'll try it out. interested to try this chili because it looks very similar to the Cincinnati chili that we tried because it's very finely minced but I'm thinking that seasonings are going to be different so let's give it a shot. A little 
little messy? A little messy. So how does it compare to the Cincinnati chili seasoning? You said this has more of an Indian influence, right? It tastes like it has a little bit of curry flavor to it. It's not as sweet as the uh, Cincinnati chili. And it doesn't have the interesting nutmeg or cinnamon spices. But this is very good. It reminds me of a curry burst in some ways that we got from the October Fest. It's very good. So I got the original half smoke. We just got the chili, some mustard. It's got some curry taste to it, but it's not. Yeah, the hot dog is really good. It's not just a crappy hot dog. The bun is good. Just a little bit of spice, not too, too much. Overall, very good, very enjoyable. All right, well, there you have it. Our review of Cherry Hill Campground and... A little bit of touring in DC. We're all hitched up and now we're getting ready to say the words we've been waiting years to say. Yep. Go left. And head west, actually. So if you like this video... Give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've been to Washington, DC and which campground was your favorite. Because we come out with Airstream and RV related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.